Hey everybody, welcome to the carving tent. So we're getting ready to do a how-to video. Um, I was kind of thinking it'd be fun to show you guys how to carve this fun little bear in a stump like you just saw on the thumbnail. And if you didn't catch that thumbnail, kind of hoping that's what brought you here, but if for some reason you didn't see it, this is the little guy I want to show you guys how to carve. It's going to be pretty easy, a few simple uh, tools, and uh, we'll get you going on making these cool little carvings. Be sure to stick around. Alright guys, so the first thing I want to go over is safety. Real quick, make sure you're wearing chaps, steel toe boots, gloves, ears be safe all right next thing I want to go over is the tools we're gonna to need to complete this project today all right so I'm gonna just show you what we need what you're gonna need and uh, we'll go from there all right guys so the first thing you're gonna need is a jaw horse I really don't recommend this project unless you have one the next thing you're gonna need is a chainsaw or you might need it as a chainsaw then a jaw horse what you know however you want to look at it um, most of the work can be done with a small saw something that's 28 30 cc i'm going to be using my 193 to rough it out you can see it's got a small bar on it if you got an ms250 your bar might be too big um, when you're looking at the bar this way you're looking at about two two and a half inches okay so it's a smaller bar to make these small cuts because our little bear here you guys are going to carve out he's he's not very big okay this is maybe oh, nine, eight, nine inches across. So this is a small carving. The next thing, um, a dime tip bar. This is my MS-170 with a 12 inch steel dime tip bar. Now, if you don't have a saw with a dime tip bar, that's okay. You can kind of substitute that for the die grinder with the saber tooth flame bit. Now this is the green flame bit. I know it doesn't look green anymore, but it is. That's another tool you'll need. Now the dime tip bar would do the claws and stuff here, but you can substitute that for the saber tooth bit. Same thing here with the mouth. You'd use the bar, but we can use the bit. The only thing you would really need the bit for is the eyes if you didn't have the bit and only had the bar. Hopefully I'm making sense. I feel like I'm getting kind of tongue tied. Let's get back over here to the bench. Um, Sorry, I got some of my camera gear here in the way. <clears throat> so, propane tank. All right, we got a one pound propane tank, the Benzomatic TS8000. We're gonna use that to burn the bear. You're gonna need a stiff brush. That's kind of a uh, shop broom I have, stiff bristle, and a flap disc on your angle grinder. Some sort of sander like that. These are the items you're gonna need to complete this bear. All right, so let's jump in, grab a chainsaw, grab a fresh piece of wood, and let's get started. All right, guys, so like I just said, we're going to carve out that little bear. Get your chainsaw ready, get a stump ready. So I got a log right here. It's about 12 inches tall. You know, you're looking at 8, 9-inch girth. First thing you want to do is kind of make sure it's sitting flat. Now, this is spruce. If you can get something that's not full of knots, more power to you. It's going to make your life easier carving, and you'll also deal with less kickback. Knots can mean more kickback, make things a little sketchy sometimes. So keep that in mind. Um, my one end is nice and clean. I'm going to put that end in the vise. Now I'm going to go ahead and look at this and determine what end's going to be the what side is going to be the bottom side of the carving. Now I'm going to try to talk quick and get this thing done because I am losing daylight. Um, is what we're gonna do. Get this guy in here, clamp this baby down like so, lock it in place. Oh, let me try that again. Boom. Okay, we're gonna cut this off so we have a little bit of a flat spot and we're gonna cut this piece off so it's a nice clean chunk.
Nice job. Check this out. Flat spot's gonna be down, bottom side. Okay. Our bear head is gonna be here. Remember what he looks like? Okay. That's what we're going for. All right. Get him back in here. Now, it cannot sit all the way down in the bottom of the vise. It's not gonna work. Oh, it's a vise, jaw horse. So bring it up, get that to clamp about, oh, maybe an inch or so. Now this is gonna take some precision chainsaw work. So, be paying attention. You hit your jaw horse, your chain's gonna be dull. You're gonna have to resharpen. You run the risk of breaking your chain, throwing a tooth, and hurting yourself. So, be paying attention. You don't wanna hit this. Um, like I said, the piece I have is spruce, super knotty. It's kind of going to be a pain in the butt for me. Hopefully it won't be for you. Our first cut's going to be here, cutting this chunk out. So, I know we're talking fast. I'm hoping these new GoPros will give you guys some, uh, some good insight, some good views as to uh, what we're doing. So, this first cut, we're going to come in like this. We're going to do it back in here. I'd say about four to five inches back. Our bear isn't very big, remember? So we're going to make a cut in back here and then use the nose of the bar to plunge in a little bit further. Careful of kickback, be aware of your surroundings. Alright, so we're kind of angling the saw in this way. You might have a better view over there, but the saw is angling in. Angling in. It's not straight cuts. You're making angles, alright? The next thing we got to do is kind of square up the top where his head's going to be, okay? Because he's in the log. So, cut this top off just a little. Kind of slope it back just a little bit more. If you guys are enjoying this carving video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. When you hit subscribe, be sure to hit that little bell that pops up, then you'll be alerted to all the new videos that I upload. Thank you guys again, and let's keep going. Time for the ears. If you've got a wood crayon, use it if not i'll leave a link for these things this is the back of the head hopefully you guys can see i have got to mark out roughly where my ears are going to be okay so i know his head's only going to be like this wide center line okay and his face is going to come in about like this and his snout will be in this area his snout will be like in here okay kind of in this area so now we got to trim this stuff away. Kind of using the same techniques that we've used in other bear carving videos as we do the head. We're going to start with the ears and then work our way forward.
Okay, we can't go too crazy. Can't go too crazy going down and in because we got to make sure we have enough room to carve those arms that are coming out, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, now that I'm on to the other side, I'm just going to make a straight cut, straight cut, and then we'll come in and get that piece out. <laughs> Okay, see where the ears are going to be? Swoop them in, cut the triangle up. Get rid of that bottom. We cut a nice little angle where the face is going to be. Let's grab our crayon. Mark the cheeks. I have a hard time. Can't really draw on this spruce. It doesn't draw very well. And the snout, okay? Remember, the snout will angle out. Sub. This will be the bottom. I'm actually going to make an angle cut in. Underneath. And down. Okay? Don't mind my runny nose. It's only like 15 out, I think, so a little chilly today. made a plunge cut in at an angle and then I made two cuts in at an angle here so these are going to be our arms that come down and hang over the edge we're gonna to have to trim them down quite a bit when we get to that point so right now we want to get rid of this piece here okay plunge cut just a little and try to knock that piece out and then start shaping and getting rid of everything in here so we have a nice clean spot like this guy okay We got that area cleaned out. Let's start focusing on uh, sloping these arms down to where the paws are going to be. Be aware 
of your jaw horse so that you don't hit it. Right? I'm dealing with had two really really kick back on me the nose of the bar is grabbing in there it's kicking back so it's gonna do the same for you be paying attention this is where you get hurt if you're getting lazy and you're not paying attention right right now we're roughing out and shaping these arms so that paw comes down here I'm gonna move to the other side and do the same the uh, nose of the bar there kind of sanded away so really it gave it more of an effect that his paws on top and not like in it give it more of that three-dimensional look okay let's move over here and try to duplicate the same or something similar But you guys can see a shaped here behind the ears gives them a little more definition and we got that arm shaped out so the next thing is is using the bar at an angle and cutting down in here just a little and then getting it cut out here the front that'll give him more of that neck and chest look um like we've been saying like i've been saying be careful for the kickback you're gonna get it so hold that saw tight be paying attention That's pretty much the shape down here. Hopefully you guys can see it better. All right. So now is a great time to bust out the dime tip bar. If you got a dime tip bar, it's going to make life easier at this point. Uh, the rest of the work I'm going to do carving wise is going to be with that until we get ready to do the, until we get ready to do the final uh, sanding. So right now I'm going to use the dime tip bar, kind of like a sander. It's sort of clean up around these edges clean that cut out in the ear there use it as an angle for his claws okay it's at an angle 
kind of like when we've done the fur in other videos. And when you round the head, you're going to round right around like this and round right into the nose. And then come to the other side and do the same thing and try to duplicate the same shape. All right. And then we'll come in at an angle and go here and here. Hey guys, I just wanted to throw this little clip in here as well. I just want to remind you that you can follow my day to day kind of projects on my Instagram account. Now a link to my Instagram account is below down in the description. You guys can follow it. Go there, follow me and uh, you know, stay current with what I'm working on. Sometimes these videos are behind and sometimes they're not, but there you'll see what I'm working on right now. Um, another thing too, if you're interested in helping support this channel and continuing to help support my work and help it grow farther than what it already is, then check out my Patreon account. There'll be a link popping up over here next to me. Um, it's a place where you guys can go, you can pledge and help this channel grow. And for those of you that do pledge, I have some Patreon exclusive carving videos. I'll also be sharing tips, bloopers, and some other stuff that just won't be here on YouTube. Um, I'll still have YouTube videos, obviously. The, I mean, here's a tutorial right now, right? So those will be just Patreon exclusive, and we'll have just YouTube exclusive. Um, there's a bunch of different stuff there, though, so be sure to go check that out. Thank you guys for all your support. Let's keep going on this piece. Alright guys, so that's pretty much the shape down here. Hopefully you guys can see it better. Alright. So now is a great time to bust out the dime tip bar. If you got a dime tip bar, it's going to make life easier at this point. Uh, the rest of the work I'm going to do carving wise is going to be with that until we get ready to do the until we get ready to do the final uh, sanding. So right now I'm going to use the dime tip bar kind of like a sander. It's sort of cleaned up around these edges. Clean that cut out in the ear there. Use it as an angle for his claws. Okay. It's at an angle. Kind of like when we've done the fur in other videos. And when you round the head you're going to round right around like this round right into the nose and then come to the other side and do the same thing and try to duplicate the same shape all right and then we'll come in at an angle and go here and here okay um be mindful of that jaw horse right now because that chain is running super close all right and also when you do this cut this is going on grab and rip his face apart so hold it tight and be ready for that i'm going to continue to use the nose and kind of round this and clean this up and honestly he will be ready to hit with our die grinder and sanders I'm ready to use my die grinder. There is one last thing though we should do before we put the saw away with the dime tip bar. Put your initials in the back. You should be initialing every piece you make, okay? It's yours, you created it. Whether you think it's garbage or not, it's a piece of art, put your initials there. Hey guys, I'm hoping to be able to see here pretty good. Um, let's get my air hose and blow that guy off real quick. You still got bark on yours? Take your saw wrench, peel it off real quick. Uh, talk through the whole thing. I'll do it in real time, so. You can stay with me. What I do first is use the die grinder with the saber tooth flame bit. We're going to be cleaning this up and hopefully you guys will be able to see really good so you can see what I'm doing and I won't have to uh, talk through the whole thing. I'll do it in real time so you can stay with me.
similar will be posted in the description below so you guys can follow a link to Amazon and purchase an item that is the same or similar to what I'm using except for the chainsaws they're about the only thing I can't get for the steel chainsaws um, let me know in the comments if you get if you guys are enjoying this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe also remember all the tools I'm using or something similar will be posted in the description below so you guys can follow a link to Amazon and purchase an item that is the same or similar to what I'm using except for the chainsaws they're about the only thing I can't get for the steel chainsaws um, let me know in the comments if you guys want I'll just get links to whatever saw that is comparable in size even if it's a different brand if you guys want that comment below and I will start putting those kind of links under these how-to videos but thanks for watching and uh, let's get this guy done. This is exactly what I'm using. These are just Coleman one pound propane tanks, a benzomatic T. Something you guys need to be aware of is your surroundings. Don't have your gas cans right here. Try to keep the sawdust clean if you have to. Take your bear and go somewhere away from all your sawdust, especially if you're not comfortable just burning like this because you know it's a torch, it's a flame. You can start a fire. This is exactly what I'm using. These are just Coleman one pound propane tanks, a Benzomatic TS8000. I like this because it's got a trigger and I can adjust the flame here as well. So the torch isn't burning the bear perfectly black, right? Here's the other bear for comparison. Kind of a pain in the butt. Sometimes this just happens. You know, my tank's actually running low, so it's not giving me a really good hot flame. As you can see, it kept flaring up. And always brush them off in between each burn. So right now, like through this whole video and especially right now, is a great time to have your RZ mask on or some kind of dust mask. Because these are some really, really fine particles. I just took mine off because I'm having a hard, uh, hard time talking with it on because I'm just it's chilly out here and my nose is running. But if you got one, have it on. If not, check out my description below for a link to it. Now we want to hit it with the torch again. The die grinder. So get your die grinder with your flame bit and just follow along. You see how I got him cleaned up so he has some definition to the face? We're going to do all that with the flame bit in the die grinder. So get your die grinder with your flame bit, get that plugged in, and just follow along. So that's pretty much it. If you're going to be putting a clear coat on the bear, um, that's where I recommend your angle grinder comes into play. Take an 80 grit disc on your angle grinder and clean all this up. It's just extra sanding. Um, I was going to video it all, but you know, I don't really think I need to. Just use your angle grinder, be safe, and get all this off. If you try to clear coat over that uh, layer that's right under the bark, your clear coat usually doesn't dry well and doesn't stick well, so you want to clean all that up. I mean, all in all though, you should have a pretty neat little look. 
I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Hope you guys have had fun watching me carve this guy out. I'm hoping that you'll be able to create something similar as well. Um, you know, comment below. Let me know how it turns out if you make one. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe. And if you're interested in helping support this channel, helping it grow financially, follow the link to my Patreon account. That link is going to pop up here any minute in the top of the video, and it's also down in the description. Patreon account is something new I just started, so be sure to go there, take a look around, see what you think. I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.